Shisho is actually a um, Japanese Korean plant. It's very tasty because it's got a bit of that cinnamon uh, spicy kick and note, which I also tend to disrupt. You could uh, do it in cocktails for your friends when you're hosting friends to come over. So it's a drink for them and then uh, it's something that's exciting and then you don't have to pay 24 bucks to a bar <laughs> for that. So you can have your own bar. the house I was had, had intention to kind of like become quite self-sufficient in a certain direction. It took me about well four bags of soy, one hardworking friend and myself. <laughs> we, get, we got ourselves started. It was a lot of work for two girls to get uh, going and we did it. I've got more than enough to help my own family, my neighbours as well. I ended up being the farmer for everybody instead. So these are the tomatoes. I've got about 17 out here. And most of these here are mani chai, so it's uh, very good for vegetable omelette and do it with soup as well, literally anything. This is the cucumber plant. Uh, it's really, really awesome. It's a creeper. And then over here, I've got my Mexican tarragon. I've got some basil as well, which I make the pesto for pastas. And then I've got sunbirds I like to perch on the curry leaf plant over there and then just swings around. So it's uh, quite amazing because it, sometimes you get butterflies on the ninth floor as well, so it's quite out there. People say that, hey, I need. I don't have green thumbs, I have a black thumb. Uh, they think that you need lots of space to grow a lot of uh, food, vegetables and so on. You don't need a lot of space in the first place, you just need to find the right plants that can uh, adapt to your space. It's not difficult, you just need a bit of ingenuity to get started in gardening. There's a variety of things that you can do with uh, you know, herbs and spices. So like for the mint leaves, I actually extracted them and I put it into vodka to infuse them. Uh, I've also done other infusions like honey with jasmine flowers. Also like um, extracted syrups from the tarragon um, plant. Pandan obviously, you know, pandan is so simple. You just, you know, make tang yuan, glutinous rice balls with it and just throw it in and you get instantaneous uh, flavour in the drink. And then I've got uh, shisho as well, which I also turn into syrups. Mm. So I've got friends who are bartenders, like top bartenders in Singapore and then they were making syrups and all that and I was asking them, how do you do it? And they were like, just one part sugar, one part water and then you just kind of, you know, throw in whatever ingredients and you get the syrup. The shisho leaf has got a bit of the cinnamon uh, spicy kick and note. It makes your mouth feel a bit fresher and then you get a little bit more uh, different dimension and taste notes as well when you're going with it. Flavour-wise, I guess it's very, very interesting. It's got a weird cinnamon tinge, a bit of basil, a bit of um, mint as well. So in terms of like the taste notes, the alcohol is just really to lift up more of the flavour notes from the shisho itself. Whenever I get a new idea, some ideas are just, you know, from the brain and then some ideas you get from the internet, some ideas you get from friends. So whatever things that I could imagine up, I just build and make it happen.